All right, guys, going to make another uninspired horror movie review. <laughs> this is going to be on The Shining because I had a lot of stuff to do. I never did get around to watching a new movie again. Of course, I've seen The Shining multiple times. The Shining is a grade A movie, not just even for a horror movies, but for movies in general. But, uh, you know, great role by Jack Nicholson and everybody else that's involved in the movie, especially the female and uh, the female lead. I'll have to look up her name, but she did a fantastic job in this movie. It's directed by Stanley Kubrick. He made a lot of great movies like A Clockwork Orange and, of course, A Space Odyssey and lots of other movies. But these are some of the main ones, The Shining. Um, it's directed so well. The visuals are so good. Everybody that's ever seen this probably you know, remembers the hallway scene where the blood just floods in and the kid on the tricycle and the twins and just the way that the the entire motel looks the hotel um just the you know jack nicholson putting the axe through the door saying here's johnny and putting his face up to the door a lot of iconic scenes and quotes and it's just such a great horror movie and the sound there's like violin or fiddle it's like stringed instruments it really revs up the tension like it's just so eerie creepy and uh yeah i love this movie so it's based on a stephen king novel and there's a remake which i don't really think is so great and there's now I guess the sequel, uh, Doctor Sleep or something like that, I haven't seen it, but of course it's not directed by Stanley Kubrick, so uh, to me that's one of the main things that really makes this version of The Shining, plus Jack Nicholson. Um, but from what I remember, so it's been a while since I've seen this, it's basically a family, uh, there's a writer, and he has a wife and a son, and they get an opportunity to go out in this... Uh, hotel in Colorado I think during the winter they go on vacation there and they're going to it's supposed to help inspire him and it's supposed to be good for the family to enjoy being out there and lo and behold it's a haunted um, it's a haunted hotel and I guess there's a history of violence with the basically the people that lived there before, the people that owned it before, and it's kind of reliving the tragedy, I think, through uh, Jack Nicholson's character, and uh, he ends up going crazy and trying to kill his family. Um, there's somebody who shows up and tells the boy, you know, basically that kind of has psychic powers and uh, he can kind of see the ghosts or he can see things that are going to happen or whatever there's the scene in the bar where jack nicholson's character walks in there and all of a sudden there's people in the bar and everything when like there's nobody in the hotel at all uh, except for this family but all of a sudden there's people there and they're talking to him and he's losing his mind there's the scene when his wife finds out all the papers that he's been typing, and every paper says, uh, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Uh, I think, yeah, over and over and over and over again. And uh, it's just so crazy of a reveal. And she freaks out, and then he shows up, and, you know, he's trying to attack her. But anyways, I love The Shining. Uh, definitely deserves a Blu-ray ownership, and this one I bought for cheap, and I tried to take that sticker off there, but it's like plastered on there, and uh, I'm going to buy some extra cases to put some of these movies in here, but I'll probably just upgrade this to a Blu-ray at some point anyway. It says, The First Epic Horror Film by Jack Kroll from Newsweek. It says, Think of the greatest terror imaginable. Is it a monstrous alien, a lethal epidemic, or as in this harrowing masterpiece from Stanley Kubrick, is it fear of murder by someone who should love and protect you, a member of your own family? From a script he co-adapted from the Stephen King novel, Kubrick melds vivid performances, menacing settlings, dreamlike tracking shots, and shock after shock into a milestone of the macabre 
in a signature role, Jack Nicholson, here's Johnny, plays Jack Torrance, who's come to the elegant, isolated Overlook Hotel as off-season caretaker with his wife, Shelley Duvall. Uh, Shelley Duvall, yeah, okay, well, she's amazing in this role, maybe up there definitely with some of the greatest female performances, I think you really feel the confusion and terror that she feels and she's so amazing I think the woman that plays in the movie Possession kinda gives her her run for the money but those two are very similar to me and son Danny Lloyd uh, Terrence has never been there before or has he the answer lies in a ghostly time warp of madness and murder and there's like a hedge maze outside of this hotel and that's how it ends when it's winter and it's freezing outside and there's just snow everywhere and they end up uh, the wife and the son end up escaping outside and they end up losing him in this hedge maze and he basically freezes to death out there um so yeah just an incredible movie just so the atmosphere in the hotel just amazing so yeah I've done some rearranging here in some of my other rooms again and this time you can see as I have a little netbook computer over there hooked up to where before what I was doing is I was loading like the trailers or images or whatever onto a hard on a little flash drive and I was putting it in my Xbox and I was playing it through the TV but I've done this before and now I've decided to do this again is to hook up this little computer and it makes it a lot easier to do whatever I want on that display. So that's one thing. And then I had a stand-up computer desk in here and then like a table with a computer in my study room and I decided to swap them. I did the stand-up desk in there and um, I have a whiteboard in there and I think the placement of this like right in front of the whiteboard in there, the stand-up desk, it's going to be a lot better and I think in here with this table and different things going on in here I think it can be better so you know I don't have all the time in the world to do everything so this is where I'm at and hopefully tonight I'll watch a new movie but I don't know because I still gotta finish kinda moving things and cleaning up but if you have not seen The Shining it is an A plus movie it's definitely should be on your watch list. You know, it's definitely up there in the like m one top 100 must see movies. You know, I mean, I'm sure even closer than than that. But a lot of people have seen it, but you've got to watch it. So that's going to be it. And this is movie number seven. So. We still got a long ways to go and a lot of opportunity for the videos to change here so we'll see what happens next guys sayonara god bless